Hello, this is Space Engineers. I'm sure most of you have at least heard of it. Yesterday they released a patch which includes mod support, integrated mod support, and this is probably the best mod support I have ever seen in any game. First off, yeah, it handles all of the file stuff for you. You don't have to worry about that. Um, you just check off which mods you want to get from Steam, or you can do it by you know actually managing the files on your hard drive, and you can include mods that are on your hard drive. And you can include them into different save games, so you don't have to have every mod applied all the time. Moreover, it will share the mods with anyone who plays with you multiplayer, so you don't have to worry about mods mismatching. Now, Space Engineers doesn't actually support deep mods yet. Uh, you can't really script anything, but even with the limitations, uh, I've been very impressed by what the modding community has put out, and so I thought I'd take you on a tour. I basically just went and downloaded every mod I could find that had a screenshot of a part, and I wanted to show them to you. These are the armored thruster blocks. These armored thruster blocks have the same characteristics as the normal ones, but they look hundreds of times nicer. I wouldn't at all be surprised if these armored uh, blocks were mysteriously included into vanilla in the near future. That's just how nice they are. This isn't a combat vessel, so I don't have any combat fighters or anything, but I do have plenty of functional ships. Here's a grinder. This grinder ship has a glass cupola. You can't have glass cupolas on a small ship. Well, you can, you just have to have a mod for it. Uh, I I always I started to really rely on these battery packs recently. Uh, they are much better than actually having you know, uranium being burned. I do have some emergency reactors, but right next to the emergency reactors are these small thrusters. These small thrusters are much less powerful than the default thrusters, but they're also smaller, uh, less take less energy, and don't burn the pavement as you're trying to land. I've also included small lights. These small lights are much better than the large spotlights if you want to illuminate like the side of a cave. And that's all mods. I mean, the batteries aren't, but everything else is. Over here, I have a welding machine. There's nothing particularly awesome about this, although I kind of like that weird flying V. I might have to do some more stuff with that later. Um, it's vanilla rather than mod, but you can see that there's some odd structural stuff going on in the front. And that's just so that you can detach those front limbs, like so, and attach them to either a drill or a m or, uh, either a drill or a welder as you see fit. If we go down into the ship, we can go down below. Oh, there's some stuff. There's an AI core over there, and here's a whole bunch of cryopods. You come over this way. Oop. This way and you enter into engineering. You can see some nice window work here. And uh, here in engineering, this is all vanilla stuff. But you can have a good close look at these thrusters. Hi thrusters! And you can sort of get a good look at a mod capability. What's this? What, what, what is this? Oh! It's ventilation ducts! Those are obviously not part of vanilla. Here is a variety of life support components hidden away in the ventilation system that are also not supported in vanilla. As we pass through the ventilation area, we're going to have to turn on our jets. All of the ship is, connect is connected by ventilation ducts, just because I thought it would be cool. Um, oh, I got that one on backwards. Eh, they don't mirror quite right. So here we are, back where we started. This large gate here is a mod. These walls are mods, and these central towers are mods, and they add a lot of life to the game. These stairs are mods. They work. This whole command area is littered with mod-based components. Over here we have a kitchen. The guy who created this kitchen mod has thousands of, well not thousands, he's got like half a dozen mods and they're all fantastic. I haven't painted anything, but uh, you can clearly see that the kitchen has a lot of cool parts to it, including a Mr. Coffee. You can't tell, but there's something behind the Mr. Coffee. Here are some places you can sit. 
And uh, these walls are fantastic. I love them. Get a good view of the thrusters. And here are some really fantastic sleeping quarters. These bunk beds, don't they just look fantastic? These are great. Over here you can see some lockers and a pool table and a machine where you can buy drinks. In here is a lab full of lab stuff and there is a ventilation system wired in. Over on the far side of the command system we've got a, the mirrored version but uh, this, this isn't another kitchen, it's a lounge area and you can see that there's a whole bunch of stuff in here that is mods. This guy is a mod. Uh, he's just a part. He's not like a human. And behind the TV you can see more ventilation area. And you've got the same thing as on the far side. Let's go down to the crew briefing area. Through this claustrophobic little hall is the crew briefing area. You can see that they have got plenty of uh, audio-visual equipment and uh, places to change into their suits. There's also some guns and some more lockers. In the front here is the backup command area with just one little place to, sti place to sit and a bunch of beds. Of course, all of the, uh, the ship is geared up as a fully functional mining vessel, uh, mining support vessel, and it has refineries and assemblers. And this is the sort of thing you can put together with the mods that are already out. Uh, none of this really has any functionality, um, aside from a couple of things that are just duplicates of existing functionality, like the thrusters. Uh, but I have hope that in the near future, we're going to see a lot of really cool stuff. Um, as soon as they allow us to start scripting blocks, I think we're going to see an explosion of really cool content. But even as it is, it's already got really interesting blocks and interesting content. It's just a matter of uh, most of it being cosmetic, which, you know, it's fine by me. I like playing dollhouse, I guess, with spaceships. Anyway, if you haven't played Space Engineers before, this is probably a pretty good time to start. And if you have played Space Engineers and stopped, this is probably a pretty good time to try it again. I'm really hopeful for the future of this game. Uh, and I may actually put out some mods once the bricks become scriptable. And of course the skybox is a mod. <laughs>